Seth Wallace here. It is Tuesday, November 16th, about 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I've been here for about an hour uh, or so. Uh, you can see it's still out the window. It's still dark, but uh, this is what my day looks like. So I decided uh, that I would come talk to you guys about what's going on at the Odyssey Project. By now you know that we've been uh, pushing a fundraiser that's specifically focused on Black Men Lead, which is, which is a rite of passage initiative for young black males ages four uh, to 30. Uh, the rite of passage actually takes, the, uh, the completion of rite of passage takes place at 13, but we continue to work with them on through the age of 30. Uh, to provide them with the tools and support they need to become productive uh, men in our community. What I want to talk to you about now are some things that we are focusing on. Right now we're focusing on teaching them a number of different skills. One is coding. The other is um, uh, professional writing and a couple of other skills. And one of the things that we definitely need are computers. Uh, we are trying to raise money to buy them. That's not going well. So what we're doing is we're also going to ask people if they have laptops that are in good condition and have at least Windows 10 uh, that if they want to donate them, they can send them. And the address to which they can send them is going to be in the description box. Also, uh, if you want to give financially, you can. Uh, the information is going to be in the description box. Finally, another way that you can give is through sponsoring a space in my 25th book, which I am currently writing on uh, the history of our quest for black wealth in the United States the things we've had to overcome and face, the things that are in front of us, and what must be done to achieve economic power. Uh, those of you who have already sponsored space in the book, thank you. Um, but if you want to sponsor space in the book, 50% uh, of those proceeds will be directly uh, designated for the work we're doing with young boys. Uh, the other will offset publishing. Um, so. Again, the way you do that is you just go to the link to uh, sponsor a space in the book. And I, what I love about this is when you sponsor this space, what you're doing is you're going to have your name in the book and you get to pay tribute to someone or something. You can pay tribute to any person you want to. You can even celebrate your own life accomplishment, but your name will go in the book and underneath it, what you want to celebrate or who you want to celebrate will be in the book. And there's no limit. There's no uh uh, limit or minimum of what you can give. You can give, um, you can sponsor with 50 cent. Your name's going in the book and you're going to get a paragraph to celebrate and uh, pay tribute to whoever or whatever you want to. Uh, now, obviously, the more that you contribute, the more things that you'll get. Um, obviously, uh, it's, it's all going to be in the description box, but um, a sponsorship of $25 gets your name in the book along with a paragraph and a signed copy of the book. $75 uh, gets you a certain thing. I know that at $100, you get your name in the book. And you get a dedicated page, meaning your own page. Uh, with $250, you get your dedicated page and you get to submit a portrait. Uh, so those are the things and those are some of the ways we're um, trying to get this fundraiser off and going. Uh, some of the things that we're going to be doing with them, we need books, we need training material, uh, we need to cover the cost of one-on-one -on -one interventions. Uh, I've had two requests on my desk, well not physically on my desk, but in my email when I got here this morning. Um, I've got mothers asking me to check on their sons uh, uh, who are incarcerated and they believe wrongly. Whether wrongly or not, they're not getting the proper representation they need. And, you know, on and on. Uh, we need to train providers. People who are going to work with these kids need to be trained. Uh, temporary emergency housing is something else that we're trying to work on for children and women. 
um, although this is for um, black men lead predominantly, you know that my wife Mary and I also runs Restoring Ghetto, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. And one of the things that we definitely need to focus on as an organization is ensuring that there is emergency uh, housing for women and children who are in danger. Uh, also, uh, working with uh, organize, other organizations to combat recidivism and other elements and components of mass incarceration. These are just some of the things that we're working on, and I'll be coming back to you, but I had to stop by this morning while it was fresh on my mind because once I get going, there's so much that flows through my mind. I didn't want it to be later in the day. I wanted it to be this morning uh, so that I can go ahead and get in front of you guys. Look, we can talk all day about what needs to be done in the community. We can talk all day about what's wrong. We can point fingers at each other, but at the end of the day, we're going to have to gird up. We're going to have to square our shoulders and we're going to have to get in the field and do the work. We're going to have to rescue some minds because there's a battle for the mind of our children and we're losing it. And that's on us. We can talk about white supremacy all we want to, but uh, one of my favorite quotes uh, by a very polar polarizing person, uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, is that white supremacy is absolutely nothing without black compliance. And black compliance isn't simply saying, I'll go along with it. Black compliance is just like silent condemnation. Black compliance can be uh, something as simple as not taking action. You are by inactivity becoming compliant. You are by a lackadaisical approach to holistically educating our youth, being compliant. Anything that assists the protocols, plans, schemes, and machinations of this racial caste system is, in essence, compliance. And so it's our responsibility to do the things that are necessary to overcome these obstacles. And this is what this is about. So. Whether you want to do a sponsorship, whether you want to donate computers, uh, we definitely need, um, right now, uh, 50, 50 computers. Uh, we need uh, laptops for the kids and we need a couple of desktops uh, for the people who are going to be working the programs, uh, especially in the research department. But we need uh, both desktops and laptops. And this is going to offset some of the stuff that I would normally have to uh, come out of pocket for. And so this is what we're asking those who are willing, do so. Those who aren't, you know, do what you do. Um, but we've got work to do. Uh, we've got work to do. And I'm going to say this uh, because it's been sort of fr frustrating for me uh, over the f last few months with the lack of support. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to be clear about it. If you need help, reach out. Uh, you know, my goal is uh, to not turn anyone away. I may not be able to get to you immediately and directly, but I'm going to gauge the severity and urgency of what's going on, and I'm going to prioritize it, and I'm going to do everything I can uh, within reason to ensure your help. If there's someone else I can get involved, I will. Uh, but what I do want is some. I want my people to have a place that they can go. Uh, for the things that they're facing in this community that they feel is too big for them or they don't know where to go or they don't feel they have a voice. So with that being said, despite uh, uh, the, the lack of support, uh, continue to send those requests, continue to send those emails, continue to reach out. Um, and we're going to do everything we can uh, to assist you. On that note, uh, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. That you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.